Hey, this is Copenhagen here with On Point Game Reviews. Today, we're diving headfirst into an On Point review of Dust Fleet. This title, developed by Orbing Disco, released about a month ago, and it sells for about $20 on Steam. Let's start off with the gameplay. Dust Fleet is branded as a real-time strategy game. You'll take command of your own fleet of starships and engage in combat in an X4 style galaxy, building and upgrading ships as well as stations with resources you collect as well as tech points and managing those resources and tech points to upgrade your fleet, build and upgrade stations while making strategic decisions in a real-time space battle. The balance between exploration, resource management, and combat is done well, especially on harder difficulties, with the potential to provide a satisfying gameplay loop. What about the story? For some, the story can be just as important as the gameplay. Dust Fleet does have a story-driven campaign mode, and while the campaign missions are engaging and fun, the story is a little bit lacking. You'll take charge of a UEN fleet, and your mission is to find out what's interrupting the freighter supply chains, and, you know, do a little combat here, do a little combat there. Uh, the story's not really in-depth. Dust Fleet's still pretty new, so there's still room for improvement. The Galaxy map is an X4-style map. It's simple and basic, but it offers all the information that you need and a nice, clean layout. The battle locations, however, they're a little bland. Your fleet, the enemy fleet, and a few asteroids. You can't use the asteroids as cover or as obstacles. I kind of was a little disappointed. When it comes to the audio, Dust Fleet's up and down. The game music is actually pretty good, and the voice acting is also commendable. It adds depth to the characters that you encounter. There, medical supplies, fresh food, all the latest movies. Looks like a strong DSEC presence here. I think they prefer a Department of Border Security. Keep your eye on them. I don't know how a security department gets the funding to have their own fleet. The weapon sound effects are a little underwhelming. However, each weapon does have a unique sound effect. Nothing that can't be made better in future updates. Visually, Dust Fleet is simple, but it's very well done. While it may not be a next-gen stunner, I don't think that's the aim of the developer. The models are nicely done, and the special effects are pretty nice too. The weapon projectiles are, are simple, but you can certainly tell a missile from a plasma blast. As for replayability, aside from the campaign, Dust Fleet offers a sector assault game mode with randomly generated star maps providing incentive for multiple playthroughs. Additionally, the game's custom campaign modding has the potential to extend its longevity, promising for hours of enjoyment for players. On the technical side of things, Dust Fleet performs admirably on most platforms. I'm running a mid-level PC build, and personally I don't have any experience of any noticeable frame rate loss or lagging. The only bug I've encountered is when the enemy attacks one of your stations on the map and the battle prompt pops up and gives you the choice to either fight or auto resolve. And if I click on fight but I don't have any ships in that sector, I'm stuck in the battle. And since I don't have any ships there to deploy, there's no interactions that I can take and I'm forced to reload my save. It's a minor bug and I'm sure it's something that can be fixed pretty easily. Overall, Dust Fleet is a fun and engaging X4 style real-time strategy that delivers. Personally, I think the $20 price tag is appropriate, and again, the possibility of community modding and the ability to create custom campaigns, who knows what awaits for Dust Fleet. Let's jump into some pros and cons. The pros. The game is fun and engaging and has pretty good mechanics. It's got a good art style. It's got a decent soundtrack and sound effects. It's got great gameplay. And the longevity with custom campaigns is it's there. The cons. The sounds could be better. There's no option for co-op or multiplayer yet. And it currently has a limited tech tree and ship options. There you have it. My review of Dust Fleet. Have you had a chance to command your own fleet in this game yet? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and if you found this review helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated with more gaming content. Until next time, happy gaming.